Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review and demo of the October BoxyCharm box. I have it right here. So we did get five full-size products this time, including an eyeshadow and face palette, a mask, a mascara, a liquid lipstick from Kat Von D, and a uh, like makeup remover balm. So I really enjoyed this box. I do really like the palette. I think the mask is kind of cool. It's like a lace mask and the mascara is really nice. I actually really like how it looks on my bottom lashes. And I think the lipstick's actually really nice as well. It doesn't transfer, it is really comfortable. So if you'd like to see how I did this look with my October BoxyCharm products, then just keep watching. So my skin has been going crazy since I got back from Louisiana and it was hot and humid and I am not used to that, being a Phoenix girl. So the first product I'm using from my BoxyCharm is gonna be this mask. My skin needs this. It is a peel off mask. I have seen some people and I'm a little nervous. It looks like it hurts when it peels off. We're gonna do this mask. Okay, so it has like the lace bits and it does come with two. So it's in the little bottle. I'm just gonna open it up, it's sealed. So this mask is $30 and it does come with two in there. And uh, let's read the instructions. So it says cleanse and dry face, which I just did. Apply an even layer of peel paste to targeted areas. Avoid eye area, brows, hairline, and lips. Line up holes with eyes, nose, and mouth. Press lace mask to areas where peel is applied and then place the ear slit securely around your ear and pull up the strap to loop over your ears. So you wear it for 10 to 15 minutes until dry and then peel downward motion and rinse any residue off. Now, lucky for me, I did just kind of shave my face. So this might not hurt as much. Definitely gonna get this area and my nose, forehead, don't get it on your eyebrow, and my chin, So then it says to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna set a timer for probably about 17 minutes, let's say. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. And we're very dry, so here we go. I'm just gonna use a face wipe to get this off. Okay, so my skin does feel pretty soft actually, and my pores don't look too bad. I didn't see like a ton on the peel off, with a ton of blackheads or anything, but I honestly don't really get a lot of results when I use Feels like it doesn't extract much usually. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize and put my base on so that we can do our eyes. Okay guys, so I have my base on and now we are going to dig into the star of the show, this eyeshadow palette. It is the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. Looks like this. You have a highlighter, a bronzy tone, pink, 
and then more of like a mauve-y. And then you have six eyeshadow shades. So we are gonna dig into this palette. I am gonna prime my lids with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot really quick. And I'm just gonna set that really quick. Now that we have our base down and set, I am going to go in with my bronzer. You can use any bronzer that you are using. And I am just gonna fluff that into the crease really quick to give us a transition shade. Just feel like the matte shade in this palette is just a little bit too dark. Okay, so now that we have our transition shade down, I am just gonna go in with my Morphe M433 and Sneak Peek. And I'm gonna put that in the outer and inner corner. And then I'm back in with my first brush. Now I'm just going to cut my crease. And then I'm gonna take my MAC 242 and this purple shade and I am gonna spray my brush. And let's see how this goes. Getting some fallout. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a little translucent powder on my dirt with my eyes really quick. It's a very pretty shade. It goes on pretty nice. And then with the same brush, but the other side, I'm gonna go in with 12 AM. And I'm gonna put that in between the brown and the purple. I'm not spraying my brush for this. And then I'm gonna take my little blender brush that we used with the brown. I'm just going to blend that out. Ooh, pretty. Now we're going to do the lower lash line. I am first going to use my bronzer with my crease brush. And I'm just going to blend that pretty low under the crease. and connect it at the wing. If you hold your mirror high, you can get all up in there. Then I'm gonna be taking this eyeliner from NYX in Purple Blaze. And I am bringing it like on the lash line. Then with a very small pencil brush, this is the E36, I'm gonna be taking that brown shade and I'm gonna blend that nice and close to the lash line. Then I'm just gonna go back in with my bronzer, make sure that's nice and blended. Yay. I'm gonna use this palette for blush. I'm gonna go in with this color here called Reveal. I've never done like a purple blush before, so. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really nice, actually. It looks like a really scary color, but really pretty. That looks really nice with this eyeshadow. I'm just gonna blend. Ooh, that gave a nice little highlight. And then for highlight, I am gonna use Twilight in this palette. It's pretty. It's pretty. Very pigmented. I would say if you're fair, that that's probably not gonna work for you. I am also gonna use that shade to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. I'm just gonna stick a little bit of this white shade on the inner corner. Just 
to give it a little bit more of a pop. It's pretty. All right, I'm gonna spritz my face. Some Fix Plus. So the Pure Midnight Masquerade Face Palette runs for $38. The next BoxyCharm item from October is this IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and it does retail for $24. It is a full size, nice little packaging, some nice bristles, so let's try this out. So it did coat the lashes really nicely. It's a nice black color. It's not super clumpy or anything. Don't know if I like it better than my Wander Beauty, but it's not bad. What do you guys think? Not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some lashes and we'll be back for lips. Okay guys, so I popped on some lashes and I put some of that mascara on my bottom lashes. So we'll see how that goes on the bottom. It looks pretty nice and thick and spidery, so that's kind of nice. The last product that I got that I'm going to use today is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Love Sick. This is another full size product. It looks like this. I think it'll be really pretty with this look. So for lip liner, I'm going to go in with the Kylie Jenner High Maintenance Lip Liner. And then again, this is Love Sick. I've never used a Kat Von D liquid lipstick, so I'll let you know how it goes. So this is the finished look with this October Boxy Charm. I think it's so cute and pretty. I do like the palette. I thought that the matte shade was a little bit hard to blend, um, but the shimmer shades are really nice and they do seem pretty pigmented. These are the two that I did not use. So those actually look like really nice as far as shimmers. I do think that they were really creamy and pigmented and they went on really nicely. As far as like the face stuff, I liked the blush and the highlight is really pretty, but I don't think it would work if your skin tone is very fair. So overall, I do think that this is a nice palette. However, for $38, I'm not sure if I would purchase this. Um, I am glad that I got it in my BoxyCharm though. I probably will use some of the shimmers again. So that's my opinion on that. The lipstick is actually really nice. I don't think it's super drying. I think it's a nice color. Pretty. The mascara I think is nice. It's not my favorite, but it's not, but I don't hate it. And it does dry down, so I think my bottom lashes look nice. We'll see if it transfers, but first impression, I like it. Then I tried this lace mask and I think it's all right. Um, I definitely think that it exfoliated a little bit. It did make my skin a little bit dry, but that's probably because I put it on right before I put my makeup on. Usually I would maybe use something like this like at night, especially a peel off mask. You wanna give your skin some time to sink in the moisturizer and replenish the oils. So overall, I think that was nice. And then the last product that we got in our BoxyCharm that I will not be using today is the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm from Pharmacy. And this retails for $22. So we'll see if I like this. I can give you guys an update, but ooh, interesting. It's like a hard, balm situation. It smells like a minty, like a lime mint situation. And it kind of feels like, ooh, it's very silky. It turns into an oil when you touch it. Hmm. I'll definitely have to try this out and let you guys know what I think. 
So that concludes my October BoxyCharm review and demo. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy buys. Into it. And I'm just gonna set that.